In this video, we're gonna create a responsive table with auto layout. All right, we're gonna start by creating some text here. So I'm gonna type out data, and then we are going to click Shift A to create an auto layout. And now we're going to uh, give it the left padding of 10 and right padding of 40, and we're gonna make sure that this is aligned left and make sure the text is also align, alignment left. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is duplicate this a number of times by clicking Command D. Okay, and now we're gonna select all of these and click Shift A to create another auto layout. And we're gonna um, assign the horizontal gap between items to be zero. And this is the foundational building block of our table that we're gonna reuse. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna select each one of the frames within that parent frame and make sure it is filling the container. Okay, and now we're gonna take this and we're gonna duplicate this a number of times. So Command D. Okay, I'm zooming out here and there you have it. We're gonna select everything and we're gonna create yet another auto layout by clicking Shift A. This time we are going to make sure that it is vertical layout for the parent frame. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna zoom in and we're gonna assign the space in between here to be zero. That looks good. And now we're gonna select each one of these rows, the frame, and we're going to make this fill container. Okay, so now we are going to select the parent container. We're gonna give it a fill of white. We're gonna go up to the top the top row and we are going to make that like an off-white kind of gray color. That looks good. Okay, so now we have the basic responsive table as you can see here. So now I'm going to customize each one of these uh, to make it look a bit more realistic. Okay, so now I threw a bunch of data into our table, and of course this can be customized to look better and function better, but this is a good basic building block of creating a responsive table. Um, so no matter how wide your design is, it will scale proportionately. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do is just give it some rounded corners. So we're gonna select the parent layer, and we're gonna say eight, and we are going to make sure it's clipping the content. And there you have it you have a beautiful table.